Wait, we're just in the garden with Rosie and down here Ruth is harvesting. So what are you harvesting? I'm harvesting kale. Right. It's a vegetable to use at lunchtime. Kale, very that's an leaves. unusual leaves, aren't they? Wow. So what else have you been growing down here this year? We have got some sprouting broccoli. Okay. It's not ready yet. Yeah. Beetroot. Beetroot, wow. So has it been a good harvest this year? Not too bad, quite right. good. Very good. Wow, fantastic. Well, thank you for letting us see the uh, little vegetable patch. You're welcome. Well, I've come inside now and I've brought in some things, well, not all from our garden, I have to say, but some of the fruit and vegetables and the things that we think about as we celebrate harvest, which is what we're doing at this time of year. Some of the things Ruth showed us uh, outside, they grow in the garden, and some of these things grow in other places. And all of them, the flowers, the vegetables, and everything else, speak to us of God's love and his care and his provision for us, for all the wonderful things he gives us. And I was thinking, I wonder perhaps if some of these could actually speak, what would they say? Well, this is a potato, and this potato looks a bit like it's got a face, doesn't it? Because these are called eyes. And I wonder if our potato could speak. It might say, use your eyes, look around at all the wonderful things that God's given us. Think about all the wonderful provision and how much he cares and loves us. Maybe that's what the potato would be saying. This one here, well, this is called broccoli. And the top of this is known as the head of the broccoli. And if the broccoli could speak to us, I wonder what it would say. Perhaps it would say, use your head. Think about the people around who might need God's help and God's care at the moment. Use your head. What about these? Well, we know they're bananas. And of course, they're normally in a big bunch. But when there's just a few of them like this, then that's called a hand of bananas. And if the bananas could speak to us, what would they say, perhaps? Maybe it would be, use your hands help people, perhaps people who need something doing for them, perhaps somebody just needs a bit of help with something, use your hands. Finally, this is a cabbage. If we look inside the cabbage, the middle bit is called the heart. And the cabbage might say, God loves us so much, giving us love into our hearts, we should share that love with other people. Use your heart. So at this harvest time, as we celebrate all these wonderful things, perhaps think about what they say to us about God and what they might make us think about, using our eyes to see all the beauty around us and all the things God's given. Using our heads to think about those we might need our help. Perhaps we might help them by using our hands. But most importantly, we should love them from our hearts, sharing the love that God has given us. I'm going to say a prayer now. If you'd like to join in with the Amen at the end, then please do. Thank you, God, for all these wonderful things that you give us. We thank you that you love us so much and provide for us. And we pray that you'd help us share your love with those around us. Amen. Well, I hope you have had a great harvest or are going to have a great harvest. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.